Welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, we, this is very special. I wish there was an audience in here to enjoy this. You may remember my guest from last month. While I was on vacation, we had Pierre, who filled in, go head to head with Fox 9 Good Day producer and my buddy, producer Bjorn, to see who knew more about Lady Gaga. Look. Okay, Gaga's parents own a restaurant in New York City. What is it called? Is it called Just Eat, Joanne Trattoria, The Italian Affair, or Cynthia Trattoria? That B. was a solid push. I had to beat him. Yeah. What would you say? It was B, Joanne Trattoria. It is. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Apparently, yeah. there have been reports of rats in that restaurant. Oh, no. There's rats in rats the restaurant? What? The restaurant. Oh. <laughs> Come on, guys, clean it up. Well, Bjorn just returned from a trip to Chicago to see Gaga at her Chromatica Ball, and he's back with his review. Please welcome, I call him, BB, the baby Bjorn, everybody. Look. I'm back. You're back. You even have your own logo. Look Fabulous at that. design. It's like Barbara Walters, the baby Bjorn review. Feels so special. Okay, this was at Wrigley Field. Yes. Uh, I'm from Chicago. I know what that park means. I've been there. Could you feel the energy even leading up to it? And Bjorn has a lot of video, by the way. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, the day before, we like walked by Wrigley, and that's when it really set in that, oh my gosh, I'm gonna see Lady Gaga. We saw, this, they were setting up a stage right Is there. Is this the day before, Bjorn? Yeah, okay. yep. we were waiting for brunch, so we stopped by Wrigley, and yeah. And for people that don't know, if you've never been to a Cubs game, or Wrigleyville, the area around, it's great, isn't mm -hmm. it, BB? Yeah. It's so fantastic. Now let's look at the stage. Do we have the stage? Okay. Okay, this is my first time seeing the stage. Walking up. Oh! There it is. Yeah. Look at that out in the outfield. Incredible. It looks Just, huge. Was the stage huge, yep. BB? Yep. Oh. Look at that. And then was it standing room right in front of the stage? Or were there yeah, seats? Yeah, there was a pit. There was a pit. I didn't pay that much money to be in the pit. Yeah. My seats were probably by like home plate. Okay. So home. Were they pretty good? Yeah, we saw she was performing on a B stage with her piano. Mm -hmm. And that was like right in front of me. Now, if you, you've heard me talk about BB. BB dresses very well, as you can see, <laughs> and loves Gaga more than anybody that I know. And you said you felt, you even felt underdressed. Oh yeah, this was like a Lady Gaga convention. Every look at that, <laughs> look at that. So this look is inspired from her stupid love video. Okay. There was a dancer, I think he was like to her right. And he had the same harness, Kendall knows. Kendall, Kendall has that harness but, too, yeah. But there are people like recreating all these sorts of looks from every era, not just Chromatica. It it's was, just, it's okay, what is okay, this, BB? What is okay, this? Okay, now look, we're gonna zoom in. His outfit lit up. Shut up! Look at that, and I met him at the bar after. He of was course such you a did. sweetheart. Yes, of course you did. We, uh, we Lady Gaga fans all come together. And yeah. There's it's a, a whole segment that we can't do of a BB after the concerts. That's, uh, you know, we'll have to do that on the after show. Okay, let's talk about the concert at Shell, uh, itself. You've been to, how many Gaga concerts? This have you was been? my third. Your third. What did she, tell us about it. What did she open with? What did you love? What was, what did she do very well on this one? Okay, so opening, she does all these interludes, very like highly produced videos. So we started with the birth of Chromatica this planet being born, and then her opening number, what? my end all be all song, Bad Romance. Seriously? Yes. Yeah. Second number, yeah. Just Dance. No. Third number, Poker, Poker Face. Face? No way. Back to back to back. Is this the opening, BB? No, this is a telephone. Look at those flames that were going up. People were joking she's trying to burn all her fans alive because yeah. these <laughs> 60 foot flames are just shooting out. <laughs> Let's look, Leo, roll the piano set. Roll, uh, show, tell, talk to us about this. What's the piano oh set? Oh my maybe? gosh. So she, this was I think the longest she's been at the piano that I've seen her. She did like five or six numbers at the piano. And I really got emotional during Born This Way. I think it was the best performance I've seen her do Born This Way. Really? She started with the piano version and then hopped into a dance, upbeat version to end the track. And she was really talking about um, how she looks out in the crowd and she sees so many people that know who they are, but also people who don't know who they are yet, but are going to. You and I had a conversation off air. You were saying, and, and fill in the blanks and finish this for mm -hmm. me. You said, there is something about this show. She's at a place in her career 
where this show was a special. What do you mean by that? Tell, tell the audience what you... Superstar status. Yeah. I think demand was so high for her. There were people outside the stadium just trying to listen to what was going on. I think she could have probably done two shows there. Because it was sold out, right, baby? Yep, 45,000. I think she broke the record for how many people they filled for one Look, concert. this is look the aerial shot. Aerial. Oh, my. Can you, can you just... Unbel look at that. Kendall, look at that. Wow. She's and I've been to Wrigley for games and such. This is unbelievable. Was Wrigley a good venue for this, BB? Um, I'll be honest, not my favorite. Okay. No, I'm glad you're on it. Hello, that's why it's the Baby Bjorn Review. Yeah. Why? Um, I just prefer venues that are like meant for concerts. performers and concerts. This was a baseball stadium. Also, I like Target Field better. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. look, there, it's just the legendary. There's something. There's an old charm to Wrigley, but yeah, Target baseball Field. fans don't come for me. No, don't. I mean. <laughs> Please, baseball fans, don't. I mean, BB is not a baseball fan. It's, no. That's not what he's here for. He's here for a lot of things. He's <laughs> not here for that. Okay, let me, let me, a little bit about post, in our last 20 seconds here, post-concert, was the, were the streets of Chicago lit? Oh, I mean, were filled. They, filled. Filled to the brim. There are officers yelling us, get off the street, get off the street. Yeah, it was, <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Okay, I think Baby okay. Bjorn's uh, uh, um, imitation of the, of the officer is probably my favorite thing ever. <laughs> Get off the street, BB. Yeah, well, 45,000 people ascending onto the bars. Oh, it's a lot. I don't know how they managed to no. keep that up. The after parties were fantastic. I was in heaven watching all those videos. And BB oh. slept for two days. He actually just woke up. This is his first I, appearance. I'm still on Chromatica right now. Are you? Yeah. Mentally. There we go. Give it up for Bjorn, everybody. Lady Gaga has nine more stops on her Chromatica Ball Stadium Tour. Head to LadyGaga.com to get your tickets. We'll be back to wrap up this circus right after this. Stay with us. Oh, that was good, BB.